Hello everyone. So now in this video lecture, I'm going to explain you how to read and write array elements. It is very similar to variable declaration and assign values to particular variable. Okay. In previous video of my array declaration and initialization, you have probably gone through that concept that it is very similar to declare an array. Okay. So now in this video lecture, I will explain you how to store particular values to declared array and how can I read it and or I can say I can process this data whether it's just uh, print it out or I want to find let's say there are eight students okay and I want to store mark of the students into one array okay and I want to find average of that eight students mark so let's see how can we do okay first first of all we need to understand how these array elements are stored in memory whenever i say i am uh, declaring array of eight uh, eight size okay that means it can store eight values let's say like this integer marks in rectangle braces it is eight that means this array marks it can store eight integer types of data okay so let's say these all are the datas okay 10 20 30 40 55 minus 86 uh, it's just random data okay nothing to worry about that particular student is not gonna fail okay so this is my data now obviously this data is gonna store somewhere in memory okay so let's say this is memory location so whenever uh, uh, in introduction to, uh, in introductory videos i have explained you that variable is nothing but a block of memory that we have labeled so that we can access it okay so just like similar this mark is also a block of memory okay and what is the size of that uh, block that is you are passing what size of values you wanna uh, you want to store and how many blocks you do you want okay so this is memory blocks okay and you can see this is eight memory blocks because uh, of size four byte probably because you have uh, declared this error as an integer so this is memory location and i want to say that i have stored this 10 to this particular memory location now if i want to access this data then then do i need to remember this address memory address no but there is one concept of indexing okay or, or uh, okay this is memory address and this is indexing okay over here this is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay why uh, it's ended up at 7 because it this always remember array index always start with 0 okay array index always start with 0 and this one is index or a subscript okay i can say index generally um, index i can say okay so what does it mean if i want to access 10 i can access it using this index value okay so how can i access it that we are gonna show for example if i if i write let's say let's say if i say marks what is name of my array that is mark okay and mark of okay let's say zero so what does it mean i am accessing 10 okay so marks of zero is equals to 10 let and marks of one so what is value at index one you can see you can see over here what is value of index one in array that is 20 okay after that marks two sorry is equals to 30 okay so like this i can i can store all the values at particular index okay so over here it is three it's four it's five again six 
and 7 okay values doesn't matter over right now we just need to understand how particular value is going is stored in arrays okay so this is the scenario that uh, this how can we access particular array element okay so you can see whenever i i want to access or access this array or i want to store particular values to inside this array okay what i need to do is just write this statement okay like this or i can say uh, scanf okay percentage why percentage d because it's integer percentage z and address of marks okay let's say zero so what does it mean whatever value user have entered let's say user have entered 10 okay and if there is after that statement is like this can have percentage d address of marks zero so what does it mean this 10 is gonna store in marks of zero for example like this okay if user has entered uh, let's say 100 and this index is let's say 5 okay so what does it mean this hundreds is gonna store at ma at index 5 so it will become 100 okay now if i okay if the uh, if i have written like this so what does it mean because over here you can see indexing is just to up to 0 to 7 okay because indexing is starting from 0 that's why total 0 to 7 that is 8 element but starting from 0 that's why it's ended up to 7 so if i index 0 then it will uh, it will give you compilation error uh, you are accessing uh, a, a array out of bound okay this is uh, some kind of uh, error or uh, that you can um, that you can uh, given okay so this is the concept now let's see how can we read the data okay so entering data into an array so i have used one for loop okay and you can see over here i is equals to 0 and i less than or equals to 7 okay why 7 because starting is from 0 so 0 to up to 7 total 8 elements so printf enter marks so, okay so what will user do user just entered particular mark let's say user have entered 10 okay and after that scanf percentage d over here you can see address of marks it's similar to like this okay i have closed that particular okay no no worries okay marks i now you can see what is i it is in for loop again what is value of i okay let me complete this what is value of i that is zero right now initially so what does it mean this first iteration in which user is going to enter value so this first mark is going to store in marks of what is value of i that is zero so marks index zero so this is gonna store in 10 okay with increment uh, in i i's value is equals to 1 so again enter mark so user is gonna mark uh, and enter mark 20 and now marks i so what is value of i that is now 1 because it's second second iteration so marks index of 1 so it will gonna stored in over here okay at index 1 so this is how you can enter data into an array now if i want to read array okay it's very easy very 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 easy you can see this is my for loop okay and what i want to do is sum is equals to sum plus marks of i okay uh, i want to calculate average of all the eight marks of the students okay so what i have done i have uh, took one variable that is sum which is initialized with zero but obviously and inside this for loop sum is equals to sum plus marks okay so what will happen 
whenever this particular loop is incremented i's value is incremented by 1 so initially marks of 0 after that marks of 1 after that marks of 2 marks of 3 4 and up to 7 okay after 7 i's value is incremented by 1 that is 8 then condition is gonna false that's why control will goes out of this for loop okay and after that average is equals to sum divided by add and uh, very simple you just need to print average marks is equals to percentage d and average okay so this is how you can read data and uh, write data from an array now let's understand uh, this is simple using very simple example okay program to find average marks obtained by a class of 30 students uh, in previous slide I have just explained you with uh, uh, part of this program okay so let's see all program so this is my main function inside this I have declared a couple of variables average sum which is initialized with 0 and I after that integer marks let's say 30 okay uh, over here size is 30 that means I want to obtain average of uh, 30 students okay so this is error declaration over here I have comment this line like this error declaration okay and you can see it includes what kind of array name of array and size of array inside this rectangle braces after that for loop and over here you can see size of array is 30 that's why it's up to 0 to 29 okay if i want to if i replaced it with only less than then it should be i less than 30 okay it's up to you now inside this for loop there are two statements printf enter marks and scanf percentage d address of marks of i which is the statement to store data in array my for loop is complete after that for loop again and I just uh, I'm just going to uh, sum of all the marks okay and you can see over here initially sum is equals to 0 so 0 plus marks of 0 so let's say 10 so 0 plus 10 is equals to 10 so now value of sum is 10 again this loop will be traded and value of I become 2 uh, sorry 1 so marks of 1 which is 20 so 10 right now what is value of sum 10 so 10 plus 20 is equal to 30 so in this way after all the iteration okay uh, sum contain summation of all the marks okay now if I want to calculate average then simple sum divided by 30 and average marks obtained by students is equal to let print it out just average variable okay and end of main so this is how you can access array value arrangement in c programming okay there are lots of pro, uh, program statement uh, using which you can practice related to array okay bye bye i hope you have enjoyed this video